In 2022, Lexington had 44 homicides. That number dropped to 24 last year. Gun violence prevention organizations are now looking for ways to get that stat even lower. Nonprofit leaders once again have a way to help. Josh Short reports in our top story at 630. The lower stats for homicides and gun violence have city and nonprofit leaders hopeful, which is what's encouraging them to take things a step further. For the third year, nonprofit organizations can once again apply for the city's One Lexington Violence Prevention Grants. We believe that this is going to encourage more people to join the fight with us, but also empower those who are already um, doing the work. Um, I think our goal coming out of our strategic plan two years ago was how do we amplify and lift up the community to take the reins of this fight to address gun violence. The grant gives community members resources to help prevent gun violence, which will be split into three tiers. Tier one is messaging and events. Tier two is youth programming. And the third tier will combine the first two. So all these community partners working together, you become more effective. You think of a ripple effect. Um, something in the water it spreads, it goes out, and, they, and, it, and it has an effectiveness in different areas. So that's how we can be effective. And our One Lexington team, we realized that, as Devine spoke about, amplifying grassroots organizations, amplifying organizations that's already doing the work, not reinventing the wheel, but how can we empower them so that we can be more effective, reach more people, and broaden um, wh the work that we're trying to do. We estimate approximately 1,200 young people were touched by programming funded by this year's grant program. And so now we think it's time to double that. Grant recipients will get up to $7,500. In Lexington, Josh Short, Fox 56 News. Applications for those grants will be accepted through April 5th. You can find a link to apply in this story on fox56news.com.